Hello, welcome back to the chess grind. Let's start a game and try to get some points, huh? E4, E5, standard opening. Nothing fancy yet. Change my headphones. Okay. Pretty straightforward so far. Okay, so I have to be aware of this threat. Can't go here. I think the play is f6 with the pawn, right? A lot of you have mentioned that my piece dragging around gives you anxiety. And if I'm being perfectly honest, it gives me anxiety too. Okay, so I can either go pawn f6 right or queen i'll try pawn f6 i think someone mentioned this move in the comments i'm willing to try it Pawn f6 seems kind of unnatural because it uh, opens the king up on the diagonal here. But I think I can just go after the center here, right? Aren't I, like, developed enough here? It's got one, one, two, three. I've got one, two. Oh, maybe no. Maybe it's not a good time to push. Maybe I'll just push a pawn up the center and then in his f3 knight with my bishop next move. I'd like to castle. We have to scoot back. I think if he scoots his pawn up one more, I'll make a little hole. My bishop on a7 there. Okay. Play a developing move. Pin his knight. He'll probably push with h3. Yeah, I'll go back to h5. Pretty straightforward stuff so far here. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I think this actually um, forced him to overextend a little bit. Um, I have two escape squares here. And he kind of just opened up this diagonal for his king here, so... So I think that was a good move. Cool. Can I actually castle? I don't think I can castle right because it would put the king on the same diagonal as the, the bishop here, right? Kind of wish I could just trade off at this point. But I don't have anything to recapture on f7 besides the king. Maybe I just trade, trade knights here. Recapture with the dark square bishop. Could push here too. I've got three defenders on a5. Also my queen's doing all of nothing. And I'd like her to do something. Mm. Trade knights. I think I'll go here. I think I have a big advantage on a5 here. Okay. Okay, I guess he kind of forced trading of the knights there. I probably could have fallen back, but I don't know. Seems like the play. I can probably push d5 now.
You have to be mindful of this pawn too on b5. His h3 pawn's undefended at the moment, so that's something I should keep in mind. He's got a bishop that's undefended. Okay. His pawn's blocked in. I wonder if I just trade off pawns here. I don't think I do quite yet. Kind of in-between move. I wasn't really sure what to do in that position. Uh, I didn't really see an attack. My knight's really passive over here. Okay. Okay, what is his plan? Now he has still one hanging piece. I mean, if he goes back here, I can always just fall back. Then I don't really have a great trade. I wonder if this is worth it. I don't think that's worth it. I think this will give me the option to cast along if I need. Kind of expecting him to push this way. I don't know about the G and H pawn push here. It seems a little extreme. But maybe he's got a good plan going. You can always go this way. I think I have to reinforce this pawn. It looks like he's going to push up. And I only have one piece to take with. Hmm. I think I'll just defend f6. If he decides to take the knight on g8, I'm okay with it. I'd rather him lose his light square bishop here and have me lose the ability to castle king side and I can just castle queen side. Okay, I was kind of expecting that. So at this point, I'm fine to trade off bishops. I can always retake with the queen. His king is very exposed, so I need to keep that in mind. His pieces are pretty well protected. The only hanging piece he has at the moment right now is c2. Okay, obviously we don't want to go for this. Let's see. I think I have to go d7 in case he goes c7. He just hung his pawn here as well. Uh, his knight was the only... Okay, yep, got that figured out. I think I'll just trade off and simplify the board here. I'm waiting for him to make a mistake, but he's not really making mistakes. At least not that I've seen. It 
if he falls back with his knight, say to, I mean, where can he really go? Uh, I think his knight's actually just blocked in at this point. Yeah, he can't go c3. He can't go b4. He really can't go c7. And I think his only viable option is just to go for the trade here. He can't go e3 because I take there too. I don't know if I would take with the bishop or not, but also this is a move here at the moment. Maybe that should have been the move, huh? That is a fork. <laughs> ah, bummer deal. Okay, good move by the opponent. Well played. Mm. Oh, no, psych, just kidding. Huh. Oh. Really now? Okay, it's kind of a crucial moment here. That fade's probably the only move, huh? Could always take here. He's got eyes on the rook here. I'm guessing he might trade off. Okay, I kind of expected that. Honestly, might just go for the queen trade. I don't think this pawn is worth saving. can always check this way, but I can just move my rook back and forth. I'll probably go g8 or h8. I'm trying to avoid a repetition here. Uh, I guess he just takes that pawn, huh? Okay, so that was kind of a lot of work for nothing. Um, I think I'll just trade up the pawns at this point, or the bishops, excuse me. Um, I have check here. Free pawn. My rook is really inactive in the corner here. I think I have check here. Yeah, check with the rook on g8. The knight's defending it. I don't know if I should go for the checks or if I should just go for the castle here at this point. I do still have the option. My king hasn't moved. Okay. Okay, this should force him to h1. I'm trying to work my queen up to, um, let me think about this. Is this just check? No, it's going to be pretty close to check, but not quite. Have to be really mindful of g3, pawns defending that. I'm trying to get to g2. Yeah, okay, I think that's just checkmate. Yeah, nice. GG. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was a good win. I think what saved me there was that my knight was defending this rook here. Whether or not that was on purpose, 
or an accident remains to be unsaid. But let's look at the game review. Really rough accuracy from me and the opponent. <laughs> Two great moves. I'll take that. Had quite a few misses. Okay, let's start the review. Standard opening, standard opening. Book opening, book opening. I need to memorize the opening here as black. Um, I, I always think that if I um, move my knight here, he goes here, and then I have to protect f7 with the queen or something. Obviously, I can't um, attack this. So I think the only viable option is queen d7, right? Because if I do this, he just has uh, the fork on here, right? So I always try to avoid having his knight, uh, white's knight, on f7. And I think this is the only viable move. But even that, what's the move here for white? Oh, right, castle, 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 castle. I always forget that. Okay, I'm going to remember that going forward. Cool. The person who told me to not worry about threats that don't exist is probably fuming at the moment. <laughs> I think people have told me how to um, defend against this opening a lot of times. Okay, good move. Central move. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't want to trade off my bishop so early on d4 here. Oh. I suppose that kicks his knight, but even then he can just go to b5, right? Or am I missing something? Hmm, okay. Okay, good move there, good move there. Yeah, I thought his downfall was chasing this bishop with the pawns that were protecting his king. Um, they, I mean, ultimately, we know how the game ended, but what ended up happening was um, the g-file just opened up, and I think that's just because he was uh, chasing the bishop here. So... Sure. Knight h4, bishop has to run back. Right, 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 right. So... If he would have gone knight h4, I'd really have no choice but to go here. And then we could trade off and I could lose my castling uh, privilege there. Okay. Hmm. I thought, okay, so this is my reasoning and maybe someone can correct me if I'm wrong. But I figured the pawn push to a5 was okay here. Because I had bishop, knight, and a rook defending this square. And he only had a pawn, um, yeah, not the bishop, he only had a pawn looking at a5. So I figured even if he were to capture, I can just take back with, so, with you know any one of these pieces and try to free up some space. But the engine says, I missed an opportunity to develop a queen off of its starting square. He permitted the opponent to kick a knight, which is what ended up happening. But it was just a trade offer. So, and I thought my bishop was in a pretty good spot here. Yeah, I just didn't know about this one. It it just seemed like too aggressive to open up uh, the king even more. And it hung this piece too. You promoted a, uh, permitted an opponent to kick a bishop. Sure. Hmm. Oh, okay. So push here. Interesting. So if he takes... Ah, uh, I see. So if he takes, I can always take back. Ah, then I'm attacking his queen, and I'm defended. Interesting. And then my queen just has the open file as well. Hmm, interesting. Ooh, rough. Rough moves here between 20 and 26. <laughs> Let's see. He had a really good move. Where was it? So this is a bad move. 
I actually thought, yeah, I mean, I thought this was an okay move. Um, I was so fixated on these nine squares that for a second I almost didn't see this, and I almost pushed my king or slid my king over one way or the other. And I'm glad I looked over at the last second and saw this. So kind of a noob tunnel vision mistake there, but he basically ended up throwing the knight away for free. And this is a big old blunder, and it opened up mate in five. Interesting. Oh, I see. So I did have lines like this. I see, I see. Interesting, yeah. I didn't recognize that diagonal there. Got it. And then what do I do? Oh, and then the pawns open. Check. Ah, and then he scoots this way and check. Ah, interesting. And then really he's just, oh, he's forced to retake. And then that's basically game. I see. Okay. I like that line. Yeah, interesting. I totally failed to recognize that this was check and a hanging pawn. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Did I actually do that? Oh. <laughs> wow, goldfish brain. <laughs> Forgot I played that move. Mm, that's funny. I'm really surprised that the engine wants him to go uh, take the rook there. Isn't that just giving the queen away for free? I mean, I know it would have been a little bit more of a challenge for the knight to have to come here and deliver check, but... I don't know, giving the queen away for free. Not the most natural thing, but... Yeah, I think he had to go back to a1 there, right? Hmm. Oh, right, duh. Kings can't jump two squares, duh. <laughs> yeah, so that was a forced move. <laughs> and then that was just GG, okay. Okay, cool. Good game. Yandex V from um, Flag Guesser. What is it? Kazakhstan or something? Oh, is that right? <laughs> really? So they're not. Okay. Politics aside. <laughs> GG.